Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. We are back here in Gobby's Valley, Gobi's Valley, and we're gonna do it right this time. No more nonsense. Hey, Banana Jinjo. Good thing I looked. Yeah, we're already off to a better start. But if you made it through the travesty of last episode, which again I apologize for, I was a little bit grumpy. I got 48 notes and a jiggy? Maybe two jiggies? Was it just one? I don't know. And then I died in King Sandy Butt's tomb. So we have to redo all of this because that's the Banjo Kazooie way, I guess. Which is fine. It was bound to get me eventually, especially, and it makes sense in this world, the one I know the least amount about. Because as I've said, I'm not really a fan of desert stuff usually. So any chance in the past I had to learn about this stage, I probably just glossed over it like, oh, it's the sandy one, who cares? But some people do care. Let's get some notes over here with the loud shoes. Actually, when I was editing that part, I turned down the game volume whenever I put these shoes on, because it was so loud when I was listening back and editing. But I don't know, it's kind of a circumstantial thing sometimes, gauging volume. I don't know how sound engineers do it. Because it's kind of like the concert thing, right? If you go see a loud concert, you have temporary deafness afterwards. I think that's what they call it. And everything, your ears are kind of ringing when you go back to a silent room, like sleeping after a concert in the quiet room. You just hear ringing the whole time. It's just that... My nose is all blocked up. Yeah, that's Jiggy Wiggy's voice. I just realized that it's Jiggy Wiggy a little bit deeper. The noise is still crazy. I wonder, there's got to be other people besides me who started with Banjo-Tooie and played this one second. I wonder what people think. Well, yeah, we'll come back to that. I think I have to use eggs. I can't believe I didn't think about that when I was watching and I was like, dude, just shoot eggs at it. And I think I came to that conclusion later on in the last episode. Well, let's fly through this thing. Or not. Uh, I think anything could be good or bad depending on the mood you bring to it. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Okay. Jumbo! Oh, good thing I didn't land. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. Where did that appear just now? I saw sand, but that doesn't help. <laughs> uh. There's sand here. And notes. And Gobby or Gobi! I really should look that up, but ah uh, well, maybe I'll do that after this video when it won't matter anymore. Although he does appear later in the game, doesn't he? Uh just make it sure. There's that target. Didn't I do that last time? I, I can't remember. It's all a blur. I spent so long in bed. I was just miserable in bed for two days straight. Didn't even take care of myself or anything. I don't know. But yeah, I think if you go into something happy, it's more likely that you're going to enjoy it, or at least you're more open to enjoying it, whereas if you go in miserable... Aha! Honeycomb! There's two switches to pound here. We'll go for the honeycomb first, I suppose. Yeah, that's like that little kid grumping thing. When, like, kids are in a bad mood, they're just like, No! I don't wanna! And they just refuse to accept that maybe things are not as bad as they're acting it to be. Like, when, you usually see it at the dinner table when a kid refuses to eat. And they just make a big deal and, like, put their head down and make a dramatic thing about it. It's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. Wow, we're not cruel to him yet. to cool down. Yeah, I think I know where he's going. He's a camel, he's got water, and there's a tree that needs water. Yeah, that was only number two. Wow. So yeah, we gotta get all the hundred notes again. 
And the only Jiggy I got was from Grabba, was it? The mummy hand? Whoa! Okay. Yeah, this music's cool, but it does still have that sandy thing. I don't know. Sometimes this kind of instrumentation just quickly becomes a headache. But that's a... Jinjo! I don't, know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I was going for there. There we go. What does this do? A sun? A timed sun? Oh, okay. First try, right? We're not gonna fail. It's the end of failure. Almost wasn't. <laughs> what do we have in here? Oh. What kind of a noise is that? Dude. I always like these subdued themes, though, and temples and stuff. Ikumbokum. 17. I didn't see Mumbo. I don't think he exists in this world either. Strange. Alright, what do we got going on here? Oh, a matching game. Okay. If I fail this, dude, that, that'll be it. Game over. Did anybody ever play the game Fisher Price? I can remember on the NES. There was another Fisher Price game too. It's hard to go back to, but I believe matching was the thing in there. Wait a minute. Yeah. I do like Banjo Kazooie though. I don't know how I feel though. I'm still trying to gauge it as we go. I'm not really a fan of this world, even though I haven't experienced it fully yet. This is another one. This and Bubble Gloop are kinda... They're here. But then again, Banjo-Tooie's first world isn't that exciting either. But Freeze Easy Peak was wonderful. No, it's no, this is... Banjo is on Kazooie's face, yeah. Treasure Trove Cove is nice, too. That was a pretty decent stage. Kind of bland, though. Not much going on. There we go. Thank you for giving me lots of time to fail. See, Rare knows the age groups that play their games. Speaking of Rare, their new game, Everwild. I know it was a cinematic trailer that was shown off, but it did kind of look interesting. I don't know how it's going to play. There was, like, no gameplay shown of it. Just weird. Weird times all around. How did I backflip midair? I'll take it. I don't know how I saved it, but oh, I'm happy. That didn't go with the music at all. Shut up. I have seen enough, like I know the final boss of this game. I know what happens. So in a sense, I'm kind of spoiled on it too. So that's, and that's another thing. That didn't happen as a kid. You had screenshots in like N Nintendo Power and stuff. But you never got fully spoiled on the game unless you played it. The internet wasn't even up to speed. Like YouTube didn't have walkthroughs of every game imaginable like it does today. And especially, oh man, like that Prosophia gaming or whatever. It's like the day of or even sometimes the day before a game officially launches. He's got a full walkthrough, all bosses, no damage. It's like, dude, chill out. Let people play the game. Nah, I don't know. But I'm just, my point is, I have that going against me too. Like, I know what happens in this game for the most part, so it's the excitement factor isn't there the way it would be if I opened this up on Christmas Day of 98 or something. Done, bees. Are you? You're not done. I'm losing feathers rapidly. This is stupid. That is definitely not the way to approach that. Unless there's an infinite gold feathers cheat, which I think there actually might be, but I'm not gonna do that. 
I will sniff out Cheeto, though, in the lair and use his cheats, because that seems like gameplay, not cheating. Because it's there to collect, kind of, and this is a collect-a-thon. So, yeah. I think it's double eggs, double red feathers, and double gold feathers. But see, that again, that's something I know. I know he exists. There goes the surprise factor, so... In that sense, it's almost impossible to... At least share the same excitement as I did seeing Banjo-Tooie for the first time. Or any game of... Anyway. How many other words can I use to say the same thing? It's like... Anytime I go back and look at some of my videos, I realize that's one of one of my biggest flaws. That and the complaining. The depression crap and whatever. This reset itself, why? Oh, because I played the matching game probably. I left the outdoors. Okay, that's by something. There's quicksand over this way. There's some square cacti. Nope, not over here. There we go. This is a really small world, all things considered. Only joking, mortal. What was the joke? I don't remember what he said first. To beat the witch? Oh, I guess it's like acting like Grunty's in this stage. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is going a lot better, I think. Four jiggies. It's all just random temples. But that's kind of like Angry Aztec of DK64. I don't like that level either. It's just the desert thing. I get it. I understand why it's necessary. Variety is always good. That's one of the best things about these games. It's like you got the snow world, the desert world, and it's always fun. It's like, oh, we're going here now. Okay. It's like when you first sit down with like a bowl of popcorn ready to watch a movie, you know? You get all nestled in. Make sure your butt has adequate cushion and you get comfortable. That's like the same feeling when you first enter a new world. It's the butt cushioning. I didn't want those shoes! Well, actually, I think I need them though. Yeah, because these notes again. Well, hey, you just passed your best note score for this world. It's not good enough, bottles. We gotta be perfect. Alright, Grabba or whoever this guy's name is. Singing another song. I saw an article. Well, I saw many articles, but they were testing what kind of face masks are most effective. And I expected them to reveal something stupid like all the ones that I have are ineffective. But they're not, like the surgical masks. The three-layer surgical masks, they're like second best. I think the best ones are like the industrial ones that make you look like... I don't know. Safe. But I don't have one of those. It's like the form-fitting... N45, I think is what it was called. Ecom Pokem. Okay. Speaking of angry Aztec, didn't something like this exist in that world? Oh, I could tell already I'm not gonna make it. I need the shoes. That's the whole point. Well, we could collect all the things. The shoes were right next door. But yeah, uh huh. Ronti's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. Found them. All right, this time. Oh, dude, are you serious? You don't want to know how many times I've been failing this, but I'm not gonna get mad. I got my quota of anger last episode. What I haven't been doing, like an idiot is jumping the corners. Like that, that might help, that was... I've been going the whole distance not jumping. Come on, don't 
don't do it again. Yes, I made it finally. The number of times I've been in this hole and it didn't accept me and it just closed the trap door. God, that must have been at least eight attempts. Stop grumping. Notes in a jiggy, and did I see? I did. Eat gumbo, gumbo. 20 mumbo tokens, that's good. But yeah, in that regard, I think I do, at the current moment, like Tui better than this. Just because, like, mumbo is only half uh, effective in this game. So the transformations don't even matter, and you don't even get a new move every world. Or if so, it's only one, and it's one that you have in Banjo Tooie anyway, so they got more creative to add to the move list. I mean, mostly it was eggs, I guess, to be fair. Okay. These guys need to get away. Dude! Does anybody else have an anger problem with stuff like this? There we go. Oh my gosh. Can't even... Alright, I got it this time, I think. Th ah. Like Jolly Rogers Lagoon, that was a good stage. I like that. Halfway! Oh, are you kidding me? Wait a minute, that's helpful. Wait, does this solve Trunker? That was his name, right? The tree that was dehydrated or something? Wow. So only the Mumbo token was needed the water up high. I feel stupid, and probably everybody watching wanted to stab me in the forehead, and rightfully so. Alright, we're done with that giant building. Now we can do all this stuff. Very nice. Water or quicksand, which is better? See, most people hate water stages, but I guess I'm an exception. Oh, but the mask thing? I don't mind it so much. I have the surgical masks, and I have a cloth one, or a cotton one. And the cotton one's comfortable, it's like a blanket. Hey! So the fact that I'm gonna have to wear it all nine hours on the plane, I don't mind so much. I think it'll actually reduce the panic in me, which is probably, again, contrary to most, because everybody's complaining about how it's hot and they can't breathe. But on a plane, it'll be like a face blanket. Plus, a little bit of security that you are more protected than not wearing it. So that could reduce anxiety in itself. Um... Yeah, I th I've had about enough of this world, but we're only halfway, we gotta finish it. The camel's cool. That's another thing. I like seeing these characters in their first instance that I only ever knew of based on context clues from Banjo-Tooie and things my friend told me when he was playing this game for the first time as a kid. Saying the same old crap. I mean, obviously... Oh, here we go, yes. What do you got, Gobby? This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. And so begins the camel torture. <laughs> Ooh, lovely water, Trunker feels great. A weird voice clip. Very simple, very nice. Why do we need shoes back here, I wonder? Don't step in the portal, old man, could you imagine? I do think that this game is more difficult than Banjo-Tooie. Even just the notion of not being able to die on your way to getting a hundred notes, which is basically don't die at all in the world. Whether you do it your first try or some other second, third, fourth visit, you have to pull it off if you want all the notes. And 
I still gotta do that Sandy Butt tomb that I died in last time. Uh, what's over there? Oh, this is the other honeycomb piece. I did see this. Now do you go to the lava world? I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Or no, he appears in another stage. That's right. That is a grenade egg door. Yes! That's gonna help. What a great time to get that, too, because I'm taking hits left and right here. Well... There was a magic carpet. Is it coming back? Oh wait, I think I just saw it. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Chinksy. He said, come on in, and I didn't. I gotta use eggs on the dog. What a sentence, I gotta use egg on the dog. That's like watching David Letterman, he talked about watering the dog one time. I thought that was the weirdest phrase. He was like a Midwestern upbringing, right? Water the dog. It's like, give the dog water. You don't bust out the hose. All right, well, we're doing better here. We almost have all the notes. This is either... This is probably the most foolish way to approach this stage. Yep, sure enough. I can't believe I didn't figure that out. Hey! Pink Jinjo remains. But yeah, saving Sandy Butt for the end, that's probably the, the most foolish thing. You should get that out of the way first in case the ceiling does fall on you. Oh well. It's just more pressure not to fail, I guess. That noise reminds me. They reused it in uh, The Last World of the Second Game. What was that one? Cloud Cuckoo Land. Those things you have to shove in Banjo's backpack, you know? There we go. Seven. The Jinjos are eight. Sandy Butt is probably nine. There's something else, though. Hold on, there was more notes in here. Got that mumbo token last time. Okay. So that is the strategy. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for pink Jinjo. Or purple, whatever he is. Something that could be another Jiggy. And anywhere that has notes. And then Sandy Butt. Surely it can't be related to those things, right? It seemed like only that one was special, and we got that in the travesty episode. I did go to the store. I managed to go to the store before this and got comfort foods and things, so maybe that's why I'm a little bit happier. Ignorance is bliss, too. Because of the stupid bee incident. There we go. Oh, here's something to talk about. Next year, I think, is already the 35th, is it? Anniversary of Zelda? So, like, this year is supposedly the Mario year. Although they still haven't said anything about the Mario 3D remasters. Oh, yeah, this thing. I haven't done this yet. But I did this last time, right? I'm confused. Or did I? Wait a minute, I seem to recall. I think I talked to Bottles. Yeah, I don't think I went in here. I didn't. This is something new. Sweet. We have a Jiggy, probably. And notes. That's very good. Where was Sandy Butt? I don't even remember now. Well, this dude's got a... 
That's a crazy voice clip. I like it. We're so close, man. It is all in Sandy Butt's place, isn't it? I think I cleared the outside. Alright, this eggs in the dish. He's a snake charmer. I think I see where this is going, and I think I've seen it before, so yeah. Jiggy at the top, right? You gotta ride the snake or whatever. If I could get him in the dish. All I wish to catch a fish. Hey, that was a... Oh, but the Zelda anniversary thing, yeah. So, if Nintendo's able to stay on course with their projections and stuff and things haven't affected them, it seems like 2021, that's probably going to be Breath of the Wild 2. And I think I've even seen there's rumors of an Ocarina of Time remaster coming to the Switch, which would be nuts. But then again, to do both the same year, that's even more nuts. It almost seems like... I don't know. Like the hype for both would counter each other and make one not do as well as the other. But I don't know. A thousand thanks, my friend. His stuff will now help you with your quest. Alright. Oh, I was supposed to stand on top of it, wasn't I? Stop, dude. Get up there! Yes! Okay. That was clunky, but alright, we did it. That's eight. Uh, the Jinjo and Sandy butt. Anything else up here? Notes or anything? Where are we exactly? 93 notes. Nope. I'm thinking the torpedo move from Jolly Roger's Lagoon. This is the temple, I think. I thought maybe I could go through that back door. I tried the timer thing, but it didn't open it. Yeah, we're done. I think it's all in here. This is it. The most foolish thing to save this for the end, like I said, but... This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Yeah, there are notes in here. Alright. Let's focus and see if we can solve a maze. We hit the switch. We don't need to go for the switch. Which was probably on the opposite side... ...of, uh, the actual exit to this place. Visual cues. Follow the spiderwebs, or the spiderwebs are the dead end. Follow the plants. The plants lead the way. This is the dead end corner. Unless I can get to the other side. Yeah, that was the switch. There's the notes. We gotta get over there. 40 seconds. It seems doable, doesn't it? Yeah. It's open here. And I failed that? Man, I really was just not in a good mood last time or something. I don't know. But it's over. I think I heard a Jinjo whistling. Yeah, there's definitely a Jinjo in here too. Beautiful. There he is. Oh, and a feather. Yes! <laughs> Bow in the pot, Banjo. Oh, how joyous it is. Let us look. What a horrible time. But I couldn't be happier that this world is over. I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest with you. I liked Gobi himself. Gobi, whatever. Nice little desert tropes and stuff, I guess, but... Not really my thing. So, there's nothing else to do but leave. We got Mad Monster Mansion opened last time in the failure of all things. We already got the overworld jiggy. 
So yeah, it looks like Mad Monster Mansion is next. Hopefully, that's a little more exciting than this. Nice to get rid of that music, too. I don't know. Certain music qualities just give me a headache after a while, like I said. But anyway, speaking of headache, it's probably what my voice is giving everybody. So thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time for Mad Monster Mansion. Take care.